Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can finish at the rim if you're an undersized guard. This is a very important skill to have, whether you are a taller player or a shorter player, to be able to finish at the rim. But for shorter players, sometimes you have issues with taller players, stronger players. These moves are going to help you score more often. So let's get down to it. So this is a move that has been around for a long time for undersized guards. However, we are seeing more and more small forwards use this in the NBA. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a very useful move. So what this move is, is called the low gather. Now the low gather, just like how the name implies, you're gathering the ball super low. So we've all heard our coach all in the past say, hey, Bring that ball up tight to your chest. Now, that's a useful move for forwards and for centers because they're bigger, but if you're an undersized guard and you bring that ball up to your chest, that just gives it in the right spot for the taller defenders or the centers who you're driving on to whack that ball away and grab it from you. So what you wanna do is call, it's called the low gather. So instead of picking the ball up on your last dribble and keeping it high, you want to keep it low, as low as you can, and straight arms down. Why you want to do this? Well, if you keep it lower than your defender's arms, they're going to be trying to hack away at it, and they're going to be hacking your arm. And what this does for you is it gets you a foul. And if you can finish by bringing that ball up. Now, really quickly, I've showed you a ton of these exercises back a few weeks ago. The lat raises. Those exercises help this move a ton, especially if you're going up against bigger guards or bigger help defenders. So you gather super low and then you rip up your last step and then you go up for your layup. But remember, when you're dribbling, keep it low, keep it low on your two steps and then rip up hard. We've seen Kawhi Leonard do this. We've seen Pascal Siakam do this. We've seen Kyle Lowry do this. We've seen a ton of players do this move. I've even seen LeBron James do this move a few times as well. So it's not just for undersized guards, but if you're an undersized guard, definitely a useful move. Now this next move that I'm gonna show you is a move that we've seen at the NBA with a lot of undersized guards using this. We've seen John Morant use this, we've seen Kyle Lowry use this, and Fred Van Fleet uses this a ridiculous amount. And what, basically what this is, is you're driving, you wanna get a nice left-handed layup, but you're keeping up, your guard is keeping up with you, your defender is keeping up with you. What you wanna do is do a jump stop into him, or a hop step into him to move him out of the way. Now you've still got one more step, so what you're doing is after you've done a hop step into them, one more step and up for that layup. So basically you're getting that ball or you're dribbling that ball down, you're attacking the rim, you do a jump stop into them, pushing him out of the way, and then you're able to go for your layup. This is a fantastic move for anybody, but if you're an undersized guard, this is going to open up so much more space. Now this is more of a bully move. This is a move that I did a bit when I was going down to the States for the D-League, but basically it's a bully move. I was a bully as a guard. I was a much bigger guard than many other players. I'm six foot two and my playing weight was 200 pounds. So I was quite a, a substantial amount bigger than other guards, most guards. The other three guards who were down there were uh, six feet tall even. One was 5'10", and they were all under 160 pounds. So I had the advantage of bullying them towards the net, but you can do this as an undersized guard as well. And a few of them did this to me. So just basically dribbling in, hop step in, one more step and up. It's gonna look like this. Now this next move is a very popular one with European players, but also more and more players in the NBA. And I've seen a ton of players over in uh, Asia, Philippines, who have used this move as well. Hello to everyone in the Philippines. It's a great day here today. How is it there where you are today? Comment below. But anyways, this is the Euro step. So with the Euro step, when you're attacking your defender or if you've, you've got a help defender coming down, your last dribble should be on your last step on where you want them to think you're going. So what I mean by this is you'll be attacking, if you have a defender coming in this direction, 
you want to last dribble, last step, one, two, and up. Now, if you're attacking the other side, you want to go last dribble, one, two, and up. Or you can go last dribble, one step over here, and then around that defender and up. There's so many different options for this, and I'm going to show you both of those options today. So this first version of it is when you're attacking, you're attacking, you've got that help defender coming out, you go last dribble, one, two, and up around him. What that's doing for you is that's freezing your help defender. So what he, that's going to do is he's coming over, you're going to attack that side, he's going to stop there, he's going to try and take that charge, and you're just going to go one, two steps around him. Simple. Now, if you've got a help defender coming from that side, and you've got another help defender coming from that side, you want to do a step around this guy. So you're going to go step, one, and then around and back up. Now the final move that I'm going to show you today is called the running hook. Now not many players in the NBA use this move, I'm not going to lie to you. However, one player who is one of my most favorite players in the league right now, one of them, Norman Powell is my favorite, Pascal Siakam is number two, Fred Van Fleet's number three, surprising how it's three players from the Raptors, I'm a Raptors fan. But anyways, so Fred Van Fleet uses this move. He was a killer in last year's playoffs in the finals, and you can be just like that. So, what is this move? It's a running baby hook. So you'll be attacking the middle of the key. You can do this attacking the sides as well. It's just easier when you're learning to go and attack the middle of the key. You'll be coming from the wing, dribbling down, and basically bringing that ball up. You wanna try and get it out a bit farther if you're an undersized guard, instead of a center bringing it up like this, more of a push shot. With an undersized guard, you want to bring it up a little bit farther out. And then you also want to have your left hand up to protect that shot from being blocked. So you're attacking that middle of the key. One, two, you want to bring it out just a bit farther. Hand up so you can block that, uh, that blocking player. And then go up for that shot. Now I hope that these moves help you score more points in basketball. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to help support this channel, check out some of this merch, especially if you want to be the next Steph Curry. It's down below, and I'll see you guys again in our next video.